So Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tulu Sule, aka Tulu Herself. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to convert from present value to future value or how to convert from future value back to present value. Let me use the normal principle of life or the normal expectation of life as an example. As a person right now, you expect that your value in the future should be more than your value at the present moment. So the simple principle is that the future value must always be greater than the present value. Now, what is the difference between the present value and the future value? It is the interest. It is only the interest you've added to yourself that makes your value in the future to be greater than your present value at the moment. Now, let's go back to the finance world. In the finance world, it's all about investment and borrowing. Okay. So if I tell you that you invest 100,000 Naira today, and then your interest rate is 10 percent it means that your future value after one year is going to be 110,000 naira after two years it makes sense to say that it is going to be 120,000 naira and after three years it makes sense to say it is going to be 130,000 naira but in the finance world it does not make sense because when you get 10,000 naira every year the value is different because of the time value of money or because of inflation or because of the forces in the economy that determines the value of money yes so i said earlier that the difference between present value and future value is your interests and future value would always be greater than present value now how do we solve the issue of time value of money how do we get the exact amount that a money should be worth in the future if you have hundred thousand today and you're told that the interest rate which you use to calculate the value is 10 percent what you need to do is to know this formula that says future value is equal to present value times one plus interest rate raised to power the number of years involved. Okay, so let's say your present value today is 100,000 Naira. After three years, the future value after three years is going to be future value equals to 100,000 times one plus 10 percent all raised to the power of three. By the time you calculate this, you're going to get 133,100, not 130,000 that it should be normally. Now, let's bring it to present value. This is one thing you come across a lot in, inv in investment appraisal. You bring it back to the present, you, you discount it. So, the formula to discount is just saying present value equals to future value over 1 plus r raised to the number of years or raised to n. You understand? That's just changing it, making the, your present value now the subject of the formula. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comment section if it makes sense to you. So when you calculate this, you have present value equals your future value, which they, they are, they've already told you because every investment opportunity will always tell you the returns you would get in the future, but they won't tell you how much it is today. So it's when you're evaluating that investment that you your financial manager will now help you to discount it. So you have 133,100 over 1 plus 10 percent all raised to power 3 right or you can also write it in this way 1 rand 3100 times 1 plus r raised to power minus 3 after you solve this you're going to get 100,000 naira which is the present value that is you valuing it today not necessarily the amount just to know the value just for you to be able to make a decision okay let me let me give you this simple illustration Imagine you are told that you should invest 45 million naira today. Know that 45 million naira today is 45 million naira today. And then you get 50 million naira in two years. Looking at those figures, right, it looks as if you would have a gain of 5 million naira. But as a financial manager, you must discount that money you are going to get in the future. Because you must include the interest element and you must also consider the time value of money. So to evaluate this opportunity or this investment opportunity, you would discount the future value. Discounting the future value means, means reducing it to present value. Let it make sense to me. I don't know what is in the future, right? So bring it, translate it to what I understand today. I understand that 45 million of today is 45 million, but 50 million of tomorrow, let me know what it is today. So let us discount this 50 million. You have 50 million times one plus 10 percent or raised to power minus two or you can say 50 million divided by one plus 10 percent raised to power two the difference in this arrangement is just there's no difference basically it's just the law of indices so when you do this you're going to have 41 million 322 thousand three hundred and fourteen naira 
and your investment was how much? I think 45 million. So you can see that it's a, there is a negative MPV, as in the net present value. Mm? Net, you know, when you set off income and uh, expenses, right? Or returns and investments, when you set, when you net them off. So this negative of 3.67 million is telling you that uh, this investment is not really a good one. Although you would receive your 5 million naira after two years. But then the value at that time is more like a negative of 3.67 million. So 50 million of two years time discounted to today is 41 million. Like So you can see that is not profitable right to invest it's not profitable because you have 45 million and then you have 41 million so there's a negative pre net present value so i mean this is one of the essence of doing um of discounting so i hope this video was useful to you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet okay and i'll see you in my next video by god's grace bye